Chapter 29 of Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird begins in the morning after the Halloween pageant when Scout is telling Atticus, Hectate, and Aunt Alexandra about the terrifying attack she and Jem experienced. During her explanation, Scout mentions that someone with cotton hands had squeezed her costume, which then leads to the Underwoods guessing that it couldn't have been Bob Ewell as his hands were calloused and tough. When Scout sees the man in the corner who carried unconscious Jem to safety, she does not recognize him initially. However, she then realizes that he is Arthur Boo Radley, their mysterious neighbor who had never stepped out of his house in years. He is described as being very pale, with thinning hair and a thin face. Scout's initial nervousness regarding Boo subsides, and she finds herself not afraid of him anymore, despite the many horrific stories that she earlier heard about him. This is Boo's entrance into the storyline as a real figure rather than a figure of imagination or a source of comfort and protection in the shadows. After Scout identified him, she openly admits, hey Boo, thus treating him like a normal person rather than a ghostly entity, even though this was the man she and Jem had been so frightened of their whole lives. Meanwhile, Sheriff Tate tells Atticus that Bob Ewell was found dead at the scene of the struggle with a knife stuck under his ribs. Scout understands that Boo Radley must have been the one who saved her and Jem by killing Ewell. From their stories, the adults piece together that Ewell, infuriated by the trial where he was shown in a poor light, targeted the children, and that Radley intervened and saved them. It is at this moment that the real hero of the story, Arthur Boo Radley, emerges. While he lived a reclusive life, he stepped out when it was necessary to protect Scout and Jem. This chapter is a turning point as it helps dispel all the childhood fears and rumors about Boo and helps the protagonists understand that he is actually a kind-hearted and protective man.